Hi everybody. Well, I've been trying out some inexpensive. <coughs> Hi everybody. I've been trying out some inexpensive uh, lavaliers to hook up to my DSLR. This is one of the most economical ones. It's a pile, and uh, basically has this big uh, lavalier right here. It also comes with a headset as well. Now there's a little USB dongle that I got connected to my DSLR, and I actually have to power that with like a battery charger for your phone. So let's see how far I'm going to get back to my favorite place over there is my fire hydrant. So I'm just going to face this way here and see how far back. Now I tried it out a minute ago, and it was breaking up a little bit the further away I got from the camera. And so here we are. This is by my favorite place here, the fire hydrant. And I think if I just am line of sight, it's, the audio still works. So uh, obviously if I was next to the camera, uh, that would be a big deal. I'm here on North Street, there's a lot of traffic going by. And uh, basically since I got the microphone within a hand's distance of my mouth, uh, it should sound relatively good. Uh, so let's see how far I am actually away feet-wise. Not officially, but just my feet. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm going to say about 20, 22 feet away from uh, the camera itself. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see how uh, this works. So let me try the headset on to see how that works. It does have this nice little, nice little feature here that basically you screw in your uh, lavalier or whatever microphone goes into it. So I'll unscrew it. I'm going to lose audio for a second. Those headsets they have, like when they're selling products, or, or whatnot. So basically, again, it has this little micro, has this little antenna point towards the receiver here. So uh, I can see the signal's pretty hot because it's right next to my mouth. So let's see how far back it will, would actually work. So let's go back to my favorite place over here, the fire hydrant. And uh, here I am, this far away. And let's see if, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's probably working up. I'm interested in how much it would break uh, down. Now, for filmmaking purposes, obviously you wouldn't use this thing, but if you're uh, doing some vlogging, if you're trying to go out on the street and whatnot, like that, you may uh, have that happen. This was about $22. So for $22, uh, not too shabby. Uh, I'm sure the audio quality is not as good as a two, three, five, seven hundred dollar $700 lavalier. It's mainly the microphones. But for economical, uh, filmmaking for vlogging, this might be something that can get you by. I can see, I turn down uh, manually. Have the I can usually control the audio levels whenever I put a microphone onto my DSLR, and basically I have it low enough so it won't get as much hiss and whatnot. So here's that little bit unit, that little unit there. I'm gonna show you the other unit real quick also. So basically, what I have there is a USB. You plug it into basically a phone charger. It gives it its power. Then you plug in the the cable into the microphone input onto the DSLR. And this this is definitely very hot because it's right next to my mouth and whatnot. So I'm curious how well this sounds. So it's kind of interesting playing around with some of these different microphones and see what, what, what can be used as, as an economical way. Because, you know, in a lot of aspects, things are kind of expensive. Uh, definitely audio like this. I don't know how reliable this is going to be, how uh, if I would use this for a million dollar movie, no. I wouldn't think I would even use it for a $10,000 movie. But a $500 film, eh, maybe, especially if you don't have any budget. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this sounds in a minute. And as always, if you like this type of content, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I would totally compute. Where else do you see cool reviews like this and fire hydrants and fire trucks computed? Yeah.